I personally know exactly one person that likes the new Star Trek STD. I think he likes it because he's told that it is progressive, but we had some interesting talking points there, one of which was that he does not care about canon, like at all. I mean, okay, fine, goes with my notion that the different series in the Star Trek universe are not even the same universe. The other thing he brought up was that Star Trek is now grown up and that it is not naively peaceful anymore. And here I could agree, but wasn't that the charm of Star Trek? I mean, you see, Trekkies are a strange people. On one hand, we poke for silly details. On the other hand, we accept the absolutely ridiculous non-stop. As an example, they never get the timing right. Travel times are absolutely absurd. The worst in this regards was Voyager's first season, although they were out of the Kazan territory within the first seconds with Warp 9. The Kazans kept coming up, following then seemingly absurd distances with extremely slow ships, compared to the Voyager that is, leading up to the next point. The whole warp factor scaling is absolutely silly, inconsistent and it never works and does not fit the timing at all. Which happens if you don't draw maps while you write a story. When I wrote my book I sketched a map, included a scale. Since I did that after I had written already four chapters, I realized that a lot of my traveling times were absolutely absurd. Some of them were way too fast, others were way too short. In Voyager terms that means that pretty much no territorial species besides the Borg could ever come up twice. Meeting the same person twice is absolutely impossible. Then the star dates are of course inconsistent, then again timing with the holodecks, it's pretty much nonsensical. It looks like everybody spends his whole free time on a holodeck, although if you type in the numbers you end up with 8 hours per month and crewman tops on a ship like the Enterprise D. Still, there is always one free, they always use it for simulation and recreation in the same time. Yeah, 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 I know all the explanations that people use them as groups to save time, but we all know that people will use R rated simulations and they will use them alone for obvious reasons. If you observe Star Trek very 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 closely you end up with only one result. It's not science fiction, it's a space opera. It's about the characters, it's about strange situations and strange people. It's a caricature of what is right now, what could be and what the consequences would then be. Still the universe is inconsistent to a large degree but and this but is important, but it was consistent in its silliness. Star Trek is a sort experiment that is not really rooted in reality, but in the idea of an utopia. Star Trek can never happen in our reality because it's not really rooted in our reality, but in the dream of Gene Roddenberry. And in this sense Star Trek is like a dream, it is de facto the dream of Gene Roddenberry and like a dream it feels cozy and nice and logical as long as you don't wake up and think about it. That's the charm of Star Trek, it seduces you to dream and in this sense STD is a nightmare. It is as illogical and absurd but without the cozy stuff, why should I care? That's the reason a lot of us like the Orville because they do it right. It's still absurd, but they learned from Star Trek mistakes. They don't have warp factors. They point out that they can fly 10 light years an hour, which means that you can fly from star system to star system in about an hour. And that's reasonable. You can work with that even as a writer. Hmm, how many star systems are there away? Hmm, 15. Well, then they fly 15 hours. Even a linguist can understand that. So is my friend right? Is Discovery the adult version of Star Trek? I would argue that it is not. Star Trek was always a space opera. It was always about the differences between the characters and how they overcome differences, even use the differences to achieve goals. There was never a reason 
to get more reality into it. It's a dream. Star Trek was indeed never reasonable, but it was, as I said, a dream. And this is what STD does not understand. But they all will, luckily for us, does.